Carol Issa's House Oversight Committee released a final report on the countrywide scandal, another great episode in cronyism uh, in, in American capitalism. Uh, so, James, this report today, uh, if I'm getting this right, detailed countrywide kickbacks to Capitol Hill VIPs. And What's the, new here? And to Fannie Mae, this is the most comprehensive look yet at the effort by Countrywide, this company at the center of the subprime scandal, to grease both uh, politicians and their staffs and Fannie Mae, the other company, really even more at the center of the American mortgage scandal. But I think, you know, this has been a story, basically a depressing story about uh, failed government policy, corruption, uh, this drive to get everyone into housing and to encourage uh, housing and, and a lot of shady dealings that went along with that. But it, buried within this report, I think you have uh, a really refreshing story, and that is uh, Congressman Pete Sessions, uh, who I don't know if he's the uh, the last honest man in Washington, but uh, it's pretty well documented. He basically said, I don't want a special deal. I don't want a, uh, a good rate. Just give me whatever you would normally give me and forget I'm a congressman. And the uh, countrywide seems to have followed that. And James, what, what lessons should we take away uh, about government-backed housing? Because, for example, you see the president coming out in recent days and weeks, again, pushing for more government-backed refinancing, more government help. Uh, to help the housing market. Uh, what lessons does this report hold uh, for that sort of well, policy message? I, I think you would hope that people would remember, it wasn't that long ago, where this uh, financial crisis started. And it really was uh, with these, this huge national bet on housing, a lot of government policy forcing people uh, in that direction. And I think it's, it's like all of these markets where the government tries to make things affordable. And we see it in student loans, we see it in healthcare, is huge subsidies uh, to for on the for buyers of homes drive up the prices and one thing they do is they make it more expensive for people who are renting to afford to buy james i want to be fair and balanced here i gotta add we've just talked about the president and his policies i want to ask about house republicans there were yeah. something like 10 or 11 or 12 bills out there to, to help reform or get rid actually of fannie and freddie is that going anywhere? Yeah, no, the Democrats have worked hard to earn their reputation as sort of the party of subsidies and, and big spending, but the Republicans are very guilty, and, and it's depressing if you think, if you're a taxpayer and you think about the 2010 election as bringing all these Tea Party Republicans into the House, not enough of them. You still uh, see the uh, John Campbells and uh, other Republicans who have been uh, basically trying to keep the status quo and keep these uh, subsidies to housing going. So and, we, and they're not getting rid of Fannie and Freddie. So we finally seen. had the offer from the Democrats to get rid of Fannie and Freddie, and even this House uh, couldn't get those bills uh, to move. That's so right. James Freeman, Assistant Editorial Page Editor, thanks so much for being with us.